Hey, what's up? Finally getting to get out of the house. I'm going to the shops just to pick up some stuff for lunch and for the next few days. I'm so excited. I have not been out for days. Hey, what's up? It's, I think it's Friday morning today. It's nearly Friday afternoon. Just been working on maths the whole morning. I will be finished the entire math syllabus for both calculus and differential equations by next week Thursday. Which is great, so I really can focus on my other stuff when we go back for online classes. But yeah, not enjoying it that much anymore. I'm kind of hitting a wall. Working with um, friends and that on house party at the same time really helps. And yeah, that's what's happening this morning. Maths, maths, maths. My life revolves around maths. Hey, what's up? Just doing a lot of maths at the moment. It's super cloudy inside and it rained even yesterday, it's raining again tomorrow, it's cold, it's inside and study weather. But yeah, not a lot's happening at the moment, just doing some work. I have actually just finished the calculus syllabus for this semester, for 258, so I'm finished with all of the tutorials and all of the problems and that, and I've gone through all of the theory by myself, so I could basically write the final exam now. Not that I think there's going to be a final exam. But uh, yeah, that's really exciting. Just going to finish differential equations this week as well, and then do part of my BSS project, and then basically I've got two modules to really focus on for the entire rest of the semester. That's microprocessors and amplifiers. So I'm going to put a lot of effort into that. I'm finished maths, basically, which is great. And yeah, just in enjoying the last week of holiday before we start online classes on Monday. I mean, on Friday we, we're changing from stage, not stage, level 5 to level 4 lockdown, not that it means anything, just some more shops are open, you can take get takeaways, so still missing my friends, seeing them often on video chat and that, it's not just, it's not quite the same as seeing them in person, but yeah, doing it right here and uh, gonna get back to work now. So since I've been spending so much time on it, I thought I would give you like a quick rundown of all the stuff I've been doing in this web development course I've been doing. You can see here it's on it's a Udemy course, the Complete 2020 Web Development Bootcamp. Uh, and it's a really solid course, I've really been enjoying it. The, it ranges all the way from front end to back end, and so it covers you know all the normal HTML, CSS. Let me just wait for this to load. The normal HTML, CSS, uh, bootstrap, JavaScript, front end stuff, then Node.js, jQuery, uh, Express.js, application programming interfaces, GitHub and that. Later on you go on to do the database stuff and then authentication and security and frameworks like React and I've been really enjoying it and you have a whole lot of sample projects that you got to build uh, as you go through the course and that and so this was a, a Tinder for dogs learning how to do use bootstrap and HTML and CSS to make a really nice front end with like some moving dynamic components. Then there was this JavaScript game here where you automatically used uh, logic in the background to create two random variables and change images and make a kind of a dice game basically to teach basic JavaScript and to teach the logic of changing elements using JavaScript which is really cool. Uh, drum kit which you can use with your mouse and your keyboard which is just more JavaScript interacting with sounds and images and that. Uh, this logic game here where you could play <laughs> this kind of game where you had to repeat the different patterns. Uh, so that was really cool for teaching more JavaScript logic. Then using application programming interfaces, APIs, to type in a random place and then to go to the open weather API and fetch information. That's not right. Okay, I got it working. I just realized I didn't have the, the server running in the background on my computer. So basically this is a weather app that are built and coded with the open weather API to go and fetch some data information and bring it back uh, onto your computer and that can serve up a live service of what the weather is in New York, 5.27 degrees Celsius. It actually feels really cold today, it actually feels similar to that, but I do have shorts on, so. But you're really interesting stuff.
and then uh, hosting this on a, on like a, a live cloud service and that using more and more advanced JavaScript and APIs to actually get stuff done, like to se send this information for a newsletter sign up all the way to a, um, all the way to the Mailchimp API and that, and just some really cool stuff uh, that I've learned in the background. And so yeah, doing front end and back end stuff, I've really been enjoying it. And I'm going to go carry on working on it now, learn about Git now, because hopefully I can actually get like a part-time job or something in the web development sphere. Because I've looked at a couple of um, South African jobs for computer engineers and that on like Careers24 and Glassdoor and that, and so much of the career market in South Africa seems to revolve around software development and in particular web development. And so since we don't do any of that in our computer engineering syllabus, I thought it was high time I get involved in that and learn about it. And it's been really fun and really interesting and I've really been enjoying it. <laughs> and um, also because I've been working on my web development, my friend Katie has also been working on her own kind of like website and that for herself and for a future career and business and that and thought it would be cool for her to share, for you to share also what, what with the world what you're doing at the moment. Exciting. Okay, so, I mean, the website's not fully published yet. I'm going to be doing that in the next couple of days. Yeah. But um, I can show you what I've got so far if I share my screen. And you've been building it with Wix, okay. right? Yeah, so I've been using Wix, just the free um, software that they have. I mean, I'm not a, you know, professional coder like you are. I'm just a college <laughs> student. So um, I've been using their, like, services there, Wix ADI. Um, things which really help you structure um, your website really nicely. Um, so this is the beginning of it. I've just tried to have all the components of the CV that you would normally have with kind of a homepage summary here. Mm -hmm. um, it's very nice because it's, I'm just able to capture a lot more of my personality and like who I am and my kind of brand in the website. Um, a lot more than you would be able to in just a regular CV. Um, and it's dynamic, so I can change it whenever I want, and, you know, it'll have instant changes. So I've got in a bunch of different pages. Nice, man. And that's good. That kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you want to see all my personal information right now, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to design it according to what, you know, I think my... And the brand is, and try and aim it at my potential future employer. But it's only in a while, so I'm only going to make it like, you know, the pitchgolf.com in like a couple of years' time. But for now, it's going to be live just as, you know, pitchgolf forward slash forward slash forward slash forward slash. Nice, I like that. Oh, you don't need a domain yet. Maybe when we've got real jobs one day. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. I love it. Oh, and uh, yeah, I finished this book last night, Apollo 11. Really good, really cool. I really enjoyed reading more about the Apollo program. And actually, like, I didn't realize how far the Apollo astronauts actually traveled on the moon. But at times, they went a good couple of kilometers, kilometers away from the landing site. And like, I didn't know they actually took a lunar rover with. And like, you know, it was like a little golf cart that these guys were driving around on the moon. And so interesting. Uh, Apollo 17. Yeah, I think that was the one. Yeah, Apollo 17. The going around the moon and that and going to the edge of craters and that and hitting golf balls and that and they really did do a lot of good science and you know 1972 I can't believe we haven't been back since then it's ridiculous um, but an exciting time to be alive I guess with you know Musk and them next month launching first Americans to space on a private capsule so it's going to be a great next couple of years when we finally go to Mars and that and so yeah reading about our launch to the moon has got me excited for future launches and perhaps a bit more <laughs> Um, I was, the section of maths I was just doing now was vector calculus, and we use that uh, to calculate orbits and trajectories and that, so it perhaps got me a bit more excited about my maths and this. But it's been really nice to just sit at home and have lots of time to read and that. Everyone's been working and chilling, and it's very cold, so we've been staying inside. See, everyone's just been reading. It's wonderful. Let's see what's happening in here. <laughs> what you up to? I'm watching the Netflix series. Which one? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be doing varsity right now? I'm imagining I'm outside. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Must be nice. You can see the kind of different work ethics in this family. Don't be weird. <laughs> I have been working. 
But yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Someone says bye. Bye.